I think my neighbor's got it. I'll explain in a little bit. Aloha, friends and family. I thought I'd make a video to hang out with you guys a little bit because it seems like pretty much most of the world at this point is being affected somewhat by this this thing that we're all going through. So I, I just wanted to pop in. and I've still got lots of Australia content to come for you guys and uh, I just want to take a break from that and do a little video on life and we haven't done a video here at the house in quite some time. Just kind of wanted to check in with you guys and see how you guys are doing. I made a post a little while ago here on YouTube and I'll, I'll read some of those comments as far as people responding to oh the sun's coming out that's nice so it's been it's been a bit rainy around here so that that kind of adds to the uh, social distancing but this sun is a nice break in that I'm just gonna wait for that sun to go back behind the cloud because it, it makes for for better lighting believe it or not also in this video I'd like to go down in the snake room and and show you guys a couple of the snakes that I'm thinking are building follicles. One, one is definitely gravid, one is definitely building some big follicles and, and give you a little update on that. Snakes around here, we haven't seen those in a while either. And uh, yeah, other than that, just kind of give you guys an update on, on how things are going around here. Year was actually the first year I started. Oh my gosh, uh, drinking coffee and and I got really quickly, uh, really quickly became a coffee snob. But I found that uh, this instant coffee is actually not so bad. I got kind of used to it over in Australia a little bit while we're on the road, and uh, I'm enjoying it. Decided to get out and go for a little run, get some exercise. Luckily, we're pretty much out in the country here, so I don't know. I probably won't see a single person on this run. Get some nice fresh air. <laughs> Mitigate the crazy. I just love the fact that we get deer cruising around our house. Makes me really feel like we are living in the country, which we, we kind of are. Ah, that driveway is no joke. Put in about four or five miles. Not bad. Leave the house for a few minutes. <laughs> I saw one other person out there with his dog, which isn't much different than how many people I usually see out here on the run. Okay, a little stretching, then we'll go down and check out the snakes. Hello, T. Hello, T. Love you too, T. Yeah, nice. I didn't even sweat on the run. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here's snake number one. I'm not gonna bother her because she has ovulated. She's actually in pre-lay shed right now. And that's Cindy. She is our firefly enchi clown female, and we're expecting some coral glow firefly enchi clown 100% het pides out of her, so that'll be cool. She's doing good in there. And then we got Candace here, and she is uh, building some huge follicles. I just palpated her. They must be at least like 30 millimeters or something. I don't have an ultrasound, but uh, I guess she's probably about 30 millimeters if I had to guess. 
and she will hopefully produce some more Enchi Cinnamon Sunsets, which are probably some of the most beautiful snakes we've produced yet here over at Triple B. And uh, yeah, she's looking fantastic and uh, probably expecting to see an ovulation from her sometime in the near future. And so that that's one I'm definitely excited about for this season. Probably gonna be a somewhat slow season for us this this uh, this time around, which is, is not a big deal for us, luckily. Um, just hoping to produce some beautiful snakes. And then we got our big beauty sangria here. Uh, I don't know that she's ovulated let. I, I, I couldn't say that she's ovulated because I, I don't know. I don't think she has, uh, but she's been locking up a lot with our boy from uh, Travis a lot this season. And uh, yeah, she's, she's uh, hopefully gonna give us another beautiful clutch of eggs this season. And look at that big, beautiful beast of a snake. Her head's somewhat fired up right now. Her head gets way more fired up now. Sometimes it'll be this bright silver color, but yeah, hopefully, uh, actually it's pretty fired up. So that's another one we're hoping for this year. I've got several of the snakes over there that don't have huge follicles yet. It's gonna be a late season for us for sure, but still looking forward to whatever, whatever it is that comes out, man. I figure while we're at it, we should show off our boy Sunset here too. He just had a shed. This is the indigo that uh, escaped in the car for a little bit before I left for Australia, but if you watch those videos, you know Hillary found him and he's here and looking great. Just had a fresh shed and man, this dude. Maybe in next year or so we'll produce some baby indigo snakes. That, that would be something. So about that, uh, that toilet paper roll at the beginning of the video. We don't really use toilet paper all that much. We've had this bidet thing here, this this great bidet we've had since like 2010. Uh, it's got an air dryer on it and everything. And granted, the kids might still use a little toilet paper, but I have no problem throwing them in the tub or something. My, my point is, I, I sealed up that roll of toilet paper there to, to let you guys know, if any of you guys are in serious need of toilet paper, I will send you a roll of toilet paper uh, free for free. I'm not, well, I'm not worried about it. I'd like to help you a lot that Seems like toilet paper is a real issue out there for people for whatever reason. I'm more than willing to help. So I'm not, I'm not it's funny, but I'm also not joking. So if you need some, just let me know. How you doing down there, T? How you doing? Good. <laughs> Little family walk. So yeah, in addition to toilet paper, I figured that one other thing I can do to help people out is uh, keep making YouTube videos. Per that poll that I put out earlier, asking people on a post here on YouTube, different things you guys had to say about what you're doing to mitigate being stuck at home or, or not having work. Um, a lot of them were, were this. Uh, Jamie Winfrey got all my stuff and into lockdown mode, I read and watch YouTube. Stacy Roberts, lots of YouTube. Uh, Mike Crawford playing t-ball, cool. DBCB Exotics posting a live stream on YouTube daily. Bob Mitchell playing video games and when I'm not, watching YouTube. Amanda Mandigo, lots of YouTube videos. So I figure this this bonus video will, will give you guys a little bit more. And then of course, I've got like 400 something plus videos just on this channel alone. If you haven't watched them, they're, most of them are pretty good, I think. Uh, but we've also got other people that are actually working. Tanya Nicole has to go to work um, because she works at the hospital. Tammy Wilson, lots of YouTube and crosswords. 80 bricks gaining weight watching YouTube all day. <laughs> lots of YouTube. But uh, there's one in particular that I want to read the entire comment because this one I thought was important. As uh, Jeanette Thomas, she says, I work for a nursing home and I am truly sorry for my residents and their families because they're in lockdown and able to see their families. So what I'm asking people is to please think about those who are still working, taking care of your families while we're staying away from our family and we need to be able to get food and supplies so please stay home when you're sick and please leave us stuff too yeah so uh, that's that's about it that I got for you guys today uh, oh you know what we didn't ask the kids what they know well I'm just simply <laughs> down here hey Noah what what do you know I know <laughs> Houses. What about birdhouses? That there's a birdhouse right up there. The birds live inside them. Um, and 
Also, I have something I want to show someone. It's my turn, not yours. Look. And birdhouses help make birdhouses are places for birds to lay their eggs. What is and that's all I know. Oh, and you can paint them and make them yourself. <laughs> what do you know? I'm freezing and I want to go on the house and that's all I know. That's all I know I said. You didn't even say I know. I know. That I'm cold and I want to go inside. Bye. Bye bye.